Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PyCharm IDE on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So the prerequisite of uh, installing PyCharm IDE is you should have Python installed on your MacBook. So if you haven't installed Python on your Mac operating system, I have already created a video about it and uh, I will put the link of that video in the description of this uh, video so you can watch that video and once python is installed on your mac operating system we are ready to install the pycharm ide to install pycharm ide just open your favorite browser and search for download pycharm and the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash pycharm forward slash download so i'm going to click on this link now here on this jetbrains website you will see the PyCharm professional version, which is the paid version. And when you will scroll down, you will also see the community version. This website also recognizes that I'm using the MacBook. So it shows me the option for downloading the DMG file. Now, there are two versions of DMG file you can download. If you have a MacBook or Mac operating system which uses Intel processor, then use the first option. If you are using the MacBook or Mac operating system with M1 or M2 chip, then you can use the Apple Silicon version. So I'm going to select the second version because I have M2 uh, MacBook. So I'm going to click on the second version, which is going to start the download of this DMG file. It's around 556 megabyte file, so it will take time to download. So just wait for the download to complete. Once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this DMG file and then let me minimize the browser. So to install PyCharm IDE on Mac, you just need to drag this uh, PyCharm icon into your applications folder. Just select this PyCharm icon and then press command on your keyboard and then drag this icon on top of your applications folder until you see this plus green button and then drop it on the applications folder, which is going to copy your PyCharm app into your applications folder. Once that's done, we can uh, just close this window and we can eject this uh, PyCharm CE because we don't need it anymore. Once that's installed, we can uh, view the PyCharm IDE icon in the Launchpad section. We can also view the PyCharm IDE in the Applications folder in the Finder. So I'm going to go to the Applications folder and here I will be able to see this PyCharm CE uh, icon. So let's open this PyCharm IDE. I'm going to click on this PyCharm icon which is going to start the PyCharm IDE. For the first time when PyCharm IDE start, it's going to show you this kind of window. It says config or installation directory. I don't have any config or installation directory. So I will just choose the second option which says do not import settings and then click on OK. And PyCharm IDE has been started here. Now in PyCharm IDE, you have some sections. First section is for the project where you can open or create a new project. You can also customize your PyCharm IDE by uh, going into the customize section. For example, you can change the theme from dark to light or light with light header. I'm going to leave it as dark. You can also change the font size. Also, you can adjust color for red green vision deficiency. And you can also choose the key map which is by default is for Mac OS, but you can also choose from other options here. You also have the option to install the plugins. So PyCharm allows you to install plugins like uh, Idea Vim, CSV editor, or any other uh, tools which are listed here. Also PyCharm also have the section for the learning. So let's create a very simple PyCharm project. So I'm going to click on projects here and then click on new project. And then I'm going to leave this name as default, which is Python project. But if you want to change the name of your project, just change it from here. 
location will be in your home folder under PyCharm projects folder. If you don't have the good reason to change this location, leave it as default. Also, you can select which kind of uh, interpreter you want, project virtual env, base conda or custom environment. I'm going to leave it as project virtual env for now. And also PyCharm recognizes the Python version, which is 3.12 in my case. So I have installed this version. So I can select that version and PyCharm IDE have automatically recognized that location. Then click on create, which is going to create my project. And once the project is created, you can see this project name here. Then it creates this virtual end file. And then I have the bin directory and then I have this lib directory. So let's create a Python file. I'm going to click on the project folder name and then click on new and then click on Python file here. And then I'm going to name my file as hello.py file and then press enter, which is going to create this hello.py file. And then I can uh, just uh, type my Python script. For example, I just want to print something. So I will just write print hello world, for example. And once that's done, I can save my program by pressing command S. And then to run my program, I have this run hello.py file. So let me just click on this button, which is going to run my script and print the output. So this is that simple to run your Python script in your PyCharm IDE. So this is how you can download and install PyCharm IDE on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.